Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, adults, kids, the youths, welcome to this podcast, the Blue Cup podcast. We're very fantastic people. This is the Maiden Edition, sponsored by yours truly, Precise. Uh, so with me on the table today, we're going to be discussing a lot of things like about interior, about how you like your space, are you very rustic, are you ghostly, do you like a minimal, do you like a simple? So with me on the table, we have next to me the one and only, the girl that looks for money, she loves chasing money, this girl, they find money, the one and only, Obelo, Sharon. Uh, what is good? And I, also, we have the one and only... <laughs> How do I, you know, introduce this person? <laughs> She's the tallest of the all. <laughs> um, that's how you put it. But yeah, the one and only Momo. Hi, everyone. And <laughs> next to Momo, we have another beautiful lady, <laughs> the black chocolate. <laughs> all right. She says she wants to be called what? <laughs> honey drop. <laughs> honey drop. So, my father, I welcome honey drop. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so going back now, we're talking about interiors, right? So, ladies, tell me, what's your ideal interior space, like, with lighting, decor, what do you like? Okay, so for me, I'm a very contemporary person. I love contemporary lighting, contemporary furnitures. I feel they are totally different. They are unique. They are not like what you get out there, because most people are stuck up on classic, and I feel like... Plastic is a bit old for me. I, I feel those are the kind of lightings our parents were using back then. And they were like, ah, give me crystal chandelier in my house. And <laughs> like, <laughs> so you were saying, for a second there, I thought you were saying plastic. No, no, plastic. plastic. Oh, plastic. my bad. I, I was saying plastic. I think it was... Plastic. plastic. Okay, okay, yeah, plastic. yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, I would, I'm a very contemporary person. And also, I don't like lightings. Um, I would do great lights in my living room space. But for my bedroom walk, oh, I like it dark because when my people won't come visit, so that I will see space. Wait, which of the people? Those ones now, what they do all those things together. My, my people walk out vibe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, beware, beware, beware. So, Momo, what's your ideal space like? Um, my ideal space will be high ceilings, open plan, open floor plan. I wish we had so much of Big that. Big girl things. Yeah. But sadly, we don't. <laughs> but some places do, yeah. yeah just Big, a few. Just yeah, a few. yeah. So, like, high ceilings, lights, 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 lights. You love bright lights? Yes, lights. You know, very high windows. Very high. Oh, I don't want box, box, box. No. Knock it all down. Open it up. Ladies and gentlemen, let's, you let's, have Momo from move. the USA. Let's swap. Let's move. Let's move. So, um, for my bedroom, my bedroom, most, my ideal bedroom space would be, again, very high ceilings, and then, I don't like lights in my room, so, yeah. Okay, lights everywhere apart from the room. Yes. But why don't you guys like lights in your room? I can't sleep with lights, I'm sorry. You're sorry. I'm sorry. It's just that you can't sleep with lights. Okay, with let me know. So, so the only place you need lighting in your bedroom as a lady is your dresser. Yeah, so uh, most of your dressing mirrors already come to light. light. I'm telling you, bathroom, body room, dark. Okay, I'm going to come back to you, ladies, on one question. So over to you, honey drops. Uh, what's your ideal interior space like? All right, so my ideal interior space is a minimalistic design. I love, you know, open spaces. You know, I love the contemporary lighting, the contemporary interior space. From my bedroom, I would love the LED strip lights. Gosh, I love LED strip lights. They are everything. They just scream sophistication. They scream contemporary. You know, I, I like to say tush mm. as well. So, yeah. Minimalistic. Oh, that's nice. But let me ask you one question. You know, with the bedroom, you know, as we're talking about the bedrooms now, yeah? So, why is it that? Who would you say should be in charge of? you know, decorate in your bedroom as... Like, if you're a couple, for example, who would you say should be in charge of... The woman. Deco- why who the woman? else? But she why should the woman? be in charge. Why the woman? Because women just seem to know it all when it comes to interior design. I'm sorry. They, ha. Just, they just do. They should be giving that part. I, I disagree. They're the homemakers. I, 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 I agree with you, 100%. I, I bet it's different, though. For me, I think the two personalities should join together and then make up you know, their space, 
this person imputes what they want, this other person imputes what they want. And they're just like, they come together and there's a fine blend of both um, personalities. Mo, yes, yes. I don't think I agree with you. Men yes, are so busy, so. they don't even have time to think about what you fit in where. They're all just concerned, with, huh, let me drop money. Fix the room yourself. Fix the house yourself. It's very rare to see men get involved with um, the planning of how the house should look like. Most men just want to give you money. Uh, maybe sort it out. You know I'm very busy. Sort out how you want to do They don't care. They just want to come home and sleep after a hard day. They don't care about what you're doing with whatever. So that's how I feel. But I also feel like, you know, they, are, you should, they should have some input. Maybe not so much. Maybe okay. their games area. Yeah, let, let, let them have some input in their game area. Yes, it's very key. So in the what? room, are they going to have a game area in the room? No, 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 no. So oh, you mean like a games room, room generally yeah, in the house? Generally in the house. So they really don't have time for other spaces. Uh, okay, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. But um, Sadi, would you argue with your wife on the spaces in your house? Um, when she said, "Oh, baby, I think I want to have this here," what would you say? Well. Psh- Nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna argue. Right, you know, exactly. You, you know what exactly. Say, That's what I'm talking about. You know what you say? You say a happy, a happy wife is a happy home. But then again, yeah, luckily for me, my she's 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 a great architect, so she she knows her onion. So you give it to her. Oh, but wow. you know the 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 other thing is this. You know, I asked you that question because right now, man, we had remodeling gal- galore is ongoing. So with the space, so that's why I was asking you guys that question. That ah, why shouldn't they? Should we like get our own opinion into it? So that's that's pretty much that's what pretty much I got. That's why I asked you that question. But now, what we like so generally like houses like so, what kind of style of houses do you like? What are you do you like a big space? Do you like a very small space? What do you like? I know uh, Momo mentioned about high ceilings, big windows. I think I think Momo should go to. You know, she's it's more of America, which you call her now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can attribute to that to watching a lot of fine living, you know, spaces, interior, all American of that. All those things are already stuck in my head. Yes. So, so that's how. So you prefer um, I'm <laughs> natural lighting. Yes, yes, I do. Yes. I okay, do. so for me, I would say, um, yeah, big homes. I would really love to have like this gigantic home, maybe like ten bedroom. Wow, oh, so, um, but I plan to have a lot of kids. So, oh, football team, loading. yeah, football team. So, everybody can have like so you get a minivan as well. Ah, oh, definitely. Uh, uh, like a Mercedes Benz van, Sienna cannot like, carry. No, Sienna can no, 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 Why Mercedes? You know, like Toyota high ass works well. No, 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 Mercedes. Okay, you don't want to pick up Troy, you no, just so don't like 10, you, you know, 10 rooms, and I can also accommodate families and the likes. So. That's for me. Oh, it makes sense. Makes sense. What about you? Well, give me an Honey attic. Drops. Give me an attic and a swimming pool, and that's all. That's fine. An attic yeah. and a swimming pool. Yep. Why? I I like to be. I like to have a swim. Uh, yeah. So do you swim? Do you swim very I'm well? I'm not ashamed. No, I actually can't. You but can't I just swim. want it to be there. Oh, okay. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I give you that, but. Attic just sounds like high up there. Then, high. well, you want the same thing in the same space, or how? How would you set it out? All right. Well, the attic should just be a place where you can, you know, go. You can read. You can write. Cause I'm a writer, so you can read, write. You know, just that place where you can go study, work at home, be creative. Yeah, you know, be close to the sky. Then, you know, the swimming pool should just be, you know, that that place where you can have barbecue. You can have pool parties. Yeah, you can just chill with your family, with your friends. Yeah, so I think any house that has those two, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> so, so let's do this. So. What kind of furnitures do you like? Furnitures, what kind of style of furnitures do you like? I know, you know, you have like the traditional furnitures, you have the more minimalistic kind of designs. You have a few others. So what, how, how would you set up your home in terms of furniture? So I think um, for me, it would be modern, contemporary. I don't want the regular style where you have the whole gold legs. And um, you see some people saying, oh, I want, I want um, royal sofa. No, that's not me. I would royal make, sofa. Okay. No, that's not me. So when they say royal sofa, you know all this sofa now. You can get them from different places. I don't want to call names, Sha. Like, <laughs> We're not being sponsored. No, no yeah. Sponsor. So on Instagram, you can find some people like their designs just have gold things going on around. 
that's not my style. I, I like minimalist design, just like what they sell at Bellamy. So Bellamy is like my own kind of style of furniture. Oh, shay, oh, shay. Bellamy designs right there. Shout out. <laughs> so what about you, Momo? Um, for me, I think I would, I'd go with you know, Yeah, very simple in terms of like furniture. There's nothing too grand and gold shining in your eyes, almost blinding. No, 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 no. Something chic, something, you know, modern, you know, something <clears throat> very, like you said, contemporary. Very open, you know, like I, I want a big space, but the, fu- the furniture shouldn't also take up all the, the whole space. space. <laughs> let you get. get yeah, you. So, like, let there be free flow of human traffic, you can move here, you are not struggling with this and that. No, 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 no. That's not my style, so yeah. So, yeah. so honey, how are you going to put the furniture in the attic? All right. So, when I think attic, I think Imola chair. Oh my gosh. I love the Imola chair. I love the whole, the foot, the foot, um, uh, the foot part. The Ottoman. The Ottoman yeah, the Ottoman, yeah. exactly. You know, when you just relax, you come home from work and you just relax on the the chair with the ultimate, raise your leg up after a long day. Out, right? Honestly, like just thinking about it, look, gosh, I'm just imagining. <laughs> <laughs> Make money, babe. <laughs> <laughs> she, she give that. What was that trend that the uh, Momo showed us the video? Oh, Imagine, we'll give you um, the big box and we'll deliver it. Give <laughs> imagination. <laughs> oh, well, nice, nice. So, are you a fan of pop up colors? Like, do you like colors, bright colors in your space? Like, it's just the pop of color, or are you yeah. just prefer that seamless that same color like a very no so not too much no like a very beige kind of simple color do you prefer pop-up colors in your space yeah i actually like uh, okay so if i have a space with beige or gray i would like a pop of color maybe one piece of furniture should be yellow like bright colors just, yeah i like it just at least just one piece you know it's just be there you know when you're just looking around you're like oh that's the yellow chair you know, I, I like things like that. What about your American Momo? <laughs> American <laughs> Mo, foreign Mo. Oh yeah, okay. foreign, foreign Mo. Foreign Mo. That's <laughs> what I'm American um, Momo. Okay, so um, I like a color scheme. Hmm. So hmm. if okay. you're with gray, everything should be gray. So oh, you're not copying anything. With, no, if we are going with black, it should be black. If you're going with like light blue, let's maintain that color scheme. Even if we can't get the exact color, but the, the closest color we can get within the color scheme, I'm down for that. Mm. Yeah. 50 shades of blue. Okay, so for me, I'm all a gray. gray person. So I would do <laughs> all, all gray in my house. But when I say all gray, it won't be just one um, pattern of gray. So we'll do different colors of gray. So we'll play with gray. Then we'll now have accent shares and accent piece of like really bright colors from blue to yellow to accent um, the spaces. So I would be a gray person all through. So you just have gray? Different shades of gray. Light gray, medium light gray, um, dark gray, all shades of gray and a little bit of <laughs> light colors to pop my space. It's so would you, would you say leather, would you prefer leather or normal material? I'm not a leather right. person, a fabric. A fabric, right? Fabric, yeah. I'll do leather. Why leather? I, I do leather. It's more, to me, oh, it's comfortable. You know, it shows class. Like, okay, yes, we are not regular. Yeah, yeah. So that that's it. I'm a fabric person, though. Know. Fabrics all the way. Why fabric? I don't know. It's and just... besides, I have a son, so it does not just touch my leather. <laughs> as well. Aha. Uh, viral, uh, viral. <laughs> and you're like, Mommy, I love you. So you not to beat him. <laughs> but you can clean it now on leather. Uh, but it's too indent. So what if it picks like a razor blade? Just in it or something. But where is again the razor blade for? Do you just leave razor blades? You have to say these kids, they're very spontaneous. You don't, you, you don't even know what they are. She is spontaneous doing. kids. Yeah. Spontaneous. Well, now, we, you know... <laughs> Yeah, I, I get what you guys have been saying and I understand. But for me personally, let me just say mine. Mine would be furniture wise, simple. Like, I kind of even like the king style of furniture as well. Like, just those king, you know, kind of outdoorish kind of, kind of style of furniture because, like, it's simple. Like, I'm a simple person. Yes, I do simplicity. <laughs> Do you understand? So, but still on still, yeah. 
Um, ladies, well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having, thank you for having us. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you for being on this table with me. So, um, on that note, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining us on the Blue Cup podcast by Precise. Woo!